Hey there, the Colts introduced their new head coach at a 3.30 news conference Tuesday at Lucas Oil Stadium. Frank Reich is committed in his return to where his NFL coaching career began. One of the quarterbacks he coached in Indianapolis is better known for his punting and kicking, or maybe his comedy and new media company. Colts named Frank Reich, new head coach, signed him to a five-year deal. The Colts win in this particular situation. Frank Former Colts punter Pat McAfee endorses the hiring of Frank Reich on his Sirius XM radio show. Reich was the Colts quarterback's coach when McAfee was drafted in 2009. I would be the emergency quarterback, third string quarterback, because I could throw the ball and run a bit. And Frank Reich, who was a quarterback coach at the time, immediately became my quarterback coach. We'd take snaps once a week. I knew three-step, five-step drop. I had like 12 to 14 plays. And he was so patient, so upbeat, so knowledgeable. And a guy that I think his, his aura will radiate through the building. And it's something that the Colts facility has been missing for some time now. Frank Reich will start. At quarterback. Reich led the greatest comeback in NFL playoff history as a backup quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. McAfee thinks the Colts' backup choice for head coach can make a great comeback in Indianapolis. But if Frank Reich comes in here and does what everybody's expecting him to do, which is change the culture, make it an upbeat place, make it a happy place to go to work, make it a successful operation, nobody will even remember the fact that McDaniel spurred us before even getting to his press conference. But people will remember that they hate the Patriots and that the Colts are great again. Frank Reich brings this sense of calm, cool, and collectiveness that is needed in that building, not just the players, equipment, manages athletic trainers business to really hopefully bring that entire building to harmony. McAfee was hoping he would get an interview for the job. I think I could have done it though. They already had a D coordinator signed. I mean you sign an offensive coordinator. All I got to do is motivate and set a schedule. I mean I can do that. Let them run their things and let's keep it moving. But Ballard went with a much better choice I assume in Frank Reich. The emergency quarterback will keep his on-air job. Mike, you've been listening to the Pat McAfee show. And McAfee is planning to be at the news conference tomorrow to ask his old quarterback's coach a few questions.